Welcome back to Bordeaux Life everyone. Today we're on getting the walls up in the kitchen, salon, séjour, so kitchen, living and, uh, and dining room. Uh, as you can see I'm using rail montant, so rails and uh, montant, I don't know what they'd be in English, but it's the metal system basically and that's one place where myself and Billy Petrick from the Petricks disagree. Billy always uses wood, I always use metal. Who's right? I think we're both right. Yeah. We'll wait for a comment from Billy on that one. As you saw earlier, I put the laser in to get the backside of this wall nearly touching this plastic pipe. I want it to be as close as possible to that. So, so long as I've not made any mistakes, this is going to be really close to this pipe, but not touch it. Basically, you put rails on the bottom, you cut one of the montants, so one of the kind of razors, I don't, somebody will tell me what they're called in the, in the uh, comments, and basically you hold that top piece up and you'll see it's really easy to get this level and to get going, and you just rattle it off. So I'm going to get the rest of that on, and then I'll get Louis down, who's upstairs cleaning the build a bit. And uh, you can see he's done an amazing job this morning cleaning up this area, prepping for us to work on these walls down here. Okay, this is a, a really important step now, which is putting the tape measure on the end of this rail. And every 60 centimeters, we make a mark on the floor. And what do you do at that 60 centimeters? Wouldn't you like to know, Anna? <laughs> I would. Well, give me two seconds and we'll, uh, we'll carry on. I'll, I'll mark them up and then I'll explain, okay? Okay. <clears throat>
So Anna, how wide is a plasterboard? Two, three meters. That's the length. Oh. The width? I don't know. Plasterboard is always one meter twenty wide, yeah? Yeah. And the monton are to support the the kind of um you don't want any movement basically in your plasterboard. Yeah, so, so you have you always start with a montant here so you can screw the plasterboard to it. So the rails like what's on the floor? Yeah, like a, a vertical rail, we'll okay. say. Okay. And then when the plasterboard ends, which is one meter twenty, mm -hmm. you want one to screw that piece to, one rail, yeah, yeah. vertical rail. And then another one to start your next piece of plasterboard. So we're going to be putting two. I haven't cut any of the vertical rails yet, so I'm having to use these. But basically, we're going to have two rails there. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to have one here to start with. And in the middle at 60, so bob on in the middle of the board, we're going to have two more. And so you can screw the board to those rails. Screw the board to them, and it makes it really rigid. When you put two together, it's really rigid. And normally, if you look, this is a piece of board, like I said, one meter 20 wide. So it starts here, finishes there. On the wall, you see that dot there? Well, I'll come and see the dot. Uh, yeah. All of these plasterboard have a dot along them. And that dot is the middle. The mid yeah, okay. so it's at 60. So you know where to screw the board into. Okay. And the rock wall that goes with these rails and monton uh, is um, is 60 centimeters wide as well so the um, insulation insulation fits in there and doesn't move okay right let's get on first things first now is to put another rail up on the ceiling and we do that because it's quite hard to do we do that with two of these vertical rails so monton and Louis is going to come and help me on that. And uh, we use a, a level, a magnetic level, which really helps. And we just get that top one um, above this one and uh, screw it in. Okay. So You're we don't, shaking your head. don't have the same height. I think it's probably a bit of both, bit of floor, bit of the ceiling that's not quite level. So, okay, here we've got 227. So, get a pencil.
So I cut two here just because um, I don't want to have to measure it again. Um, so basically though, the other thing is, when you pick these up, you have to pick them up the same way every time so that when you cut, all the holes line up just in case. I've already passed my cable, but just in case there's a reason to need to pass more cable. Oh, so the holes are usually for passing cables. Or um, this. And that's why you have this kind of um, outer casing on your water pipe uh, for one of the reasons is so that when you pull it through there you don't rip the water pipe. Uh, I made a bit of, I've, I honestly have made a bit of a mess but um, I'm not sure whether Louis will notice anyway. Louis? Oui. Can you come and help me? Yes. Hello. Have you done this before, Louis? Nope. Okay. Never. Well, you've missed half the tutorial, but never mind. I will check and uh, subscribe and ring the bell. Yes, good boy. <laughs> what have you done to my floor? It was clean. I don't know. You didn't seem to, I, I didn't see you with your marigolds on and your tickling feather. Yeah. And uh, I think you missed a bit of, like... <laughs> yeah, the stone is... Yeah, no, I'm sorry, Louis. I did. I, I made a bit of a mess. That's fine. Okay. Right, uh, let's get one more tool and a couple of screws and away we go. Okay. Louis, um, so I need you to have one of these right on the edge of this rail here, yeah? Okay. So for the time being, keep it like that and you'll, you'll understand why after. So you stay there. Um, right. So the idea is you pop, oh, okay. Okay, pop that in, oh, you, need to, you need to squeeze the other rail, squeeze the other metal, okay. Okay, and it needs to be level. So let me get mine in first and then we'll go from there. Louis, you're going to be practically touching this, okay? okay. You'll know that you're nearly level in. Okay. Just to guard la tienne comme ça, Luigi. Right. So, just pendant... so I need to fix this end in first, and then, uh, and then I can go to Louis's end and fix that in, and then screw it all up. This one has to touch. So we got that level, and here, you get it. The lights went off. Who turned it off? Was it you, Louis? Nope. No, I think the battery died on that. That's okay. I've got we have solution. lots of batteries. There we go. There is light. You can work, guys. No excuse. Louis, you, were you ready for a, a siesta? Ah, yes. Uh, you, get, you get it level then if you want. Yeah, that can be your job. Tell me when we're good. No. You can see I'm screwing into the uh, fourreur up top. Which gives a really good fix. <clears throat> okay, so the rail's at the top. That's where you screwed it in. Nice. Nice and strong. Okay. Right. This we're not going to touch now, we're just leave it. We're not going to screw it in yet. It doesn't need to be screwed in yet. I haven't got the insulation one. Uh, right. Bon, Louis, on va couper encore deux, deux, deux et deux. Okay. Louis, when we take these, we always take them the same way around, yeah? Because if we cut like here, 
And then on the other one, we cut like yeah, yeah. The, la the holes don't line up, yeah? Okay, let's get going. Yeah. Attends, Shall attends. T'as un autre mètre? Oui. Attends, je vais quand même vous arrêter. Non, deux pannes, six et demi. Il faut en couper un deuxième. Deuxième, oui, s'il te plaît. After Louis, you check that it goes in, yeah? Yeah. Toutes les 60. Non, non, c'est 60 depuis le mur. Ah, depuis le mur Oui. Tiens, tu gardes dans le coin et je marque ça. Plus, plus haut, tu arrives Là. Non, ça c'est le centre. Là, ok. Tu, tu mets ton... Oui. Tu veux mettre en nom, s'il te plaît. C'est bon. Oui. On a été. Ok, c'est bon. Tu peux en mettre deux toujours. Oui. I just forgot to. Uh... Mark up top, just as important as marking on the floor. You did it after, so it counts. Louis? Oui. Tu ré ré vérifies? Oui. I'm going to measure now this end one. We're going to do the same process again, Louis. Two twenty-six and a half. Two twenty-six and a half. Uh, yeah. So, last vlog, we put this uh, earth kind of connector in here, or grounding connector in here, and I said that it was for the pompier, so the fireman, to cut. That's because I was told by an electrician a while back that that was the reason that you have these. I had a couple of comments that said, no, it's, it's uh, for the consuel, so the guys that check the electricity so they can take the earth off and test the earth. I thought, well, why two or three people saying the same thing? So I went online and checked, and no, it's not for the pompier to cut in, the, in a fire. It's actually, like other people said, for the consuel to test the electricity, to test the earthing or the grounding for the electrical system. And because it's not for the pompier, it doesn't make sense for this to be out here now. So all that work I did last vlog, I have to take this back off, I know it's not a huge amount of work, but I'm going to take this back off and I'm going to find a space inside where, and, and make a nice, neat little job of it inside. Um, it's a bit of a shame that it has to be on, on view, but that's just the French law. So, yeah, that has to go back in and on view. Okay, nothing we can do. Yeah, to be honest, I'm a little bit annoyed with the guy that told me that, but because it was an electrician, but that's just how it is. Let's get back in and get on with getting that wall up.
Do you think I'm co convincing Billy Patrick that this is the way to go? Well, you're convincing me. Joking aside, I understand why Billy's doing wood because it's kind of more the traditional way of doing it. But doesn't wood rot faster and doesn't have the same lifespan? Does wood what? Rot faster. Yeah, but I don't think in Billy's chateau and in the convent it's not going to rot. Here though, this is really important in case there is water at any time uh, or a huge amount of dampness, the wood would, would rot. Hence why we're putting that uh, hydrofuge, so the kind of um, the, the green plasterboard that is treated for water. So yeah, this is a must here, but I can understand why Billy does that at the convent and at the chateau. Five and a half.
In case people wondered what I was using to attach the rail to the floor, it's these, they're called, in France, they're called Chevy Frappe. So you just literally drill a hole and whack these with a hammer and it's a great fix. You can unscrew it afterwards as well, even though it's not got a screw thread, it seems to have just like grooves as such. Twenty-five and a half, Louis. So whilst Lou's been cutting those, I've been getting on with the uh, rail on this side and uh, I need to cut round this uh, earthed rod or grounding rod. Okay. I don't want to cut two separate pieces because it's a lot easier to get a nice straight edge if you've got one long piece. I know people are probably cringing as they're watching, wondering when I'm going to cut my finger. You have. No, I've not. Okay, we're still going to need an extra one just to make sure that this hasn't moved too much because it's a bit weak. But still, it's nicer to do it like that than to cut two extra, two different pieces. Okay, we're going to get on with finishing this wall off and we'll show you what it looks like after. Sounds good. Comment ça va vite, ça c'est bien.
c'était à peu près la même taille Oui. Wow, that's really good progress. You've done all that wall. Yep. Nice. And you've even started down here. That's really good. Well done, boys. They don't call me Edward Scissorhands for nothing. <laughs> Okay, so we're just on this last little bit. As you saw in the time lapse, um, we put um, an upright next to the window, and we're just making these kind of bottom sills almost for the windows uh, for the plasterboard. Mm -hmm. And we put it so that it uh, it doesn't. This one will go here, so it doesn't interfere with Jules um, when he comes to put the windows in, because he's going in here with the windows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we want it here so that we can screw the plasterboard to that, butt the plasterboard up against the wood on the windows. And uh, yeah, nice, neat job. Nice. I've got something that I need you to figure out, Anna. Over here, what do you want to do? We, we have to bring the wall mm -hmm. to about here minimum, yeah? Okay. Now, do you want to go right up to here or do you want to kind of stop the wall somewhere around here? So I, I would ideally like that opening to be as big as possible. Okay, well that's it then. Okay. Uh, let me just double Easy check. Decision. decision made, 248. So I think we're best leaving a five centimeter tolerance just in case something goes wrong with the kitchen. 255 from that. Here, is that okay for you? Yeah. Are you going to sh show everyone where it comes to? Well, I can see it from here, but yeah, I think I'll come closer if you want. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah. Okay. Let me just mark that up and then we'll measure what we've got left. Here we go. So, the plasterboard wall is going to come like that. And your nice big opening is 1 meter 38. Okay, that's very big. Plus the stairs, because when you come around, you're going to have that, that area there. Yeah, I think it's still big. At the end of the day, Anna, that can always be, you know, we can always put a bit more plasterboard up if, if it doesn't look right or we need exactly, a bit more. Exactly, because I don't know. I mean, I'm saying big as possible, but it may not be right. Normally tomorrow we've got a big delivery, uh, an important delivery, and a uh, really interesting vlog, next vlog. On that note, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, why not? And uh, we'll see you all next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Guys. Hook on watch.